Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Wrathborn Hunts for Season of the Hunt. Uh, I, this is not going to include a review. I think the review is going to be later just because I still don't have enough time with it. Because it literally just came out, what, yesterday? So, yes, yeah, yesterday. So I don't feel like it's quite fair to judge this activity right now. Probably do it next week. Hopefully, if not, I'll well, we'll see. But essentially... First, what you're going to want to do is go to the moon, find out what Osiris is doing. Uh, I think whoever wrote the dialogue for this season is awesome. It's really good. From the crow's dialogue to spider's dialogue, I think it's just really good. So I really, really would implore you to actually listen to the dialogue. It's really good. Uh, especially like when you get to the portions where you have to like listen to someone talk and then you can like deactivate it by just like going back out i would just listen to it honestly that's how much i like the dialogue in this so essentially the whole mission is just to find out what osiris is doing there once you complete the mission we see the cutscene that we saw for season of the hunt after that the game is just going to take you to the tangled shore which is good because i would have been annoyed if we were just like oh we have to go to the tangle short it's like why not just take me there so small thing but i like that they did that once you get to once you get there spider is going to talk to you and this is probably where the dialogue really starts to shine because it's just like what the fuck this whole this dialogue alone made me kind of sympathize with the crow which is something i was not expecting so once spider tells you his whole spiel You'll go to the crow and he'll tell you that he he has this cryptolith uh, lure, which is essentially the season activity. It's basically uh, like charges that you can activate for activities, and you can only hold three lures at a, or three charges at a time. Hopefully, they increase it a little bit more. But the way that you basically charge the lure is to do strikes, gambit, or crucible matches. I think that's like the only negative portion of this activity. I would have much preferred to do an activity over and over, but I can see why Bungie didn't do that because with Season of the Worthy, Season of the Arrivals, they were less than ideal. Like they, they were fun, don't get me wrong, but after like the third or second or fourth week, it was just kind of like, I hate this already. So I can see why they kind of just made it like, oh, well, if you want to do it, you'll most likely already have charges because you are already doing a Vanguard, Gambit, or uh, Crucible. Well, realistically, most people are going to be just doing Strikes or, or uh, Crucible. So you'll already have charges there. I just wish we had a little bit more. So once you get the lure, you're just going to have to exactly do what I just said crucible gambit or strikes if you want to know like the most optimal way it's gonna be to do the strikes load up to i think would be lake of shadows lake of shadows is like for me the fuck around strike that's the strike i do when i need to get shit done and i don't care about finishing it uh from there if you guys see the actual cryptolith lure it'll tell you perform these bonus actions in strikes to accelerate the charging process defeat challenging combatants and defeat combatants with precision damage so essentially what you're going to want to do is go to lake of shadows and just do a lost sector over and over and over until you have the three charges i do see bungie nerfing this in a way where you only get the bonus if you complete the strike or something but at that point it doesn't even matter because you're already going to be doing lost sectors anyways so I, I don't see them really finding a way to nerf this unless they just take the bonuses out and it's like you have to complete the matches now so that's the only negative i could see so best case scenario they don't nerf it worst case scenario they make it that you have to complete strikes gambit and crucible matches like from beginning to end and i know a lot of people are going to be like well that's how you, it was supposed to be but this is the season activity or the, this is the seasonal activity i kind of wish they just didn't lock it behind shit that we've been doing for the past greater part of what four or five years now so i i understand the process of them putting it behind strikes again in crucible it's just that i 
definitely just want to farm the weapons and i hate that i, f I have to do strikes gambit or cru crucible and if they nerf it then that's going to be a negative but after that honestly that's pretty much it you're gonna have the cryptolith lure and obviously like any other seasonal activity you can actually upgrade it to a point where it's like increase the amount of mutation mods obtained from wrathborns being the last one but there's also some other ones that i think are really beneficial for like just you to have like uh the third power slot is power hunter increase the power of rewards obtained from wrathborn hunts the amount of weekly powerful wrathborn hunt rewards is increased from two to four crow's weekly challenge is upgraded to a pinnacle reward that's awesome and honestly these are not really hard to upgrade at all like i said you're gonna have like the prey mod and then the weak mutation and then the strong mutation essentially what it what it is is the prey mod is the bosses which boss do you want you have fallen mods and then you have the hive mods the hive mods you unlock at level two and essentially you you get to choose from all of these perks so essentially i have royal chase chest armor class item and friction fire so from there i can choose like all right which one do i want maybe i want friction fire which is the smg so i'll choose it i will choose it right now but i don't have a lure and then from here you can choose like oh well do you want a mo or not this one do you want a stability masterwork a handling masterwork or a range masterwork you choose that and then you can actually choose like which which uh perks do you want on it actually on this one as well you can actually choose which perks you want as well so i like i like this a lot uh it's very cool because it's very customizable very the loot pursuit is really good in my opinion uh yeah i have no negative things to say about the lure i think the lure is cool i've I also think the actual hunts are fine. I do understand if people are like, these are basic as fuck because they kind of are basic. But aside from getting like a season of Dawn activity, like the Sundial, which I think was fucking good, we're not going to be able to see anything like that ever again, most likely, just because Bungie may not have the manpower, even though that's fucking insane to say, but there that is. I would have preferred if the hunts were a little bit a little bit better in my opinion. I do think they are a little lackluster because once you activate the lure, you'll fight an ogre or a servitor depending on which one you choose. Once you defeat that or once you uh, damage it enough, he'll run away, you'll track him down and then you'll activate the mission. Once you activate the mission, that's really it. The boss is already there, you just have to go up to him. Once you get to the portion of the boss fight, the Servitor or Ogre will spawn in and just kill him. And then the actual boss will spawn in. And depending on which boss it is, it'll either be easy or annoying. I think the Hive bosses, aside from the Knight, I'm spe specifically talking about that one strike boss. I think she's a bitch. I hate her. Other than that, everyone else is pretty simple. And once you finish it you get what is it five of crow's uh reputation things and then you get the weapon unless you specifically sl slotted to get more reputation uh, material you get a weapon or armor and that's really it it's not that crazy of a of an activity if you can even call it an activity really yeah that's really it i I will give you my thoughts on it later down the road, but if you guys heard some of the th stuff I was already talking about, it's not, it's, it's, it's hard to say. I'm going to be honest. It's on one hand, I like the simplicity. On the other hand, it's the simplicity that's just kind of like, I don't know if I like it or not. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Honestly, that's really it. Uh, after you complete your first uh, hunt, Crow's going to be like, cool, do that over and over again over like a lot so i'll i'm gonna do the weapon reviews right after this video so if you want to see like what kind of weapons you can get with the rolls that it can get then stay tuned i'm gonna have it like literally literally like a little bit later i'm gonna have the beyond light review probably tomorrow or today i i have a bunch of content i if you guys don't know i already hit 12 30 which was my goal uh so i'm i'm gucci i ugh. so i'm good guys i have all of the arms 
for for each of the class because there was a bug yesterday but Bungie already patched it so I am actually on my way of just making all the content that I had backstocked so I have a fuck ton of content to go through right now I'm actually just gonna be recording all day today so if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the content so far I really do appreciate it uh, subscribe guys I'm gonna be doing a fuck ton of content right now and I'm going to be going back to daily content like I did before, so I will see you guys later.